Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna cover how and when and why and all the main details you need to know about moving from Squarespace 7.0 to 7.1. If you're moving from WordPress or another platform to 7.1, some of this information is going to be very relevant for you, but some of it's not. I'm really going to speak to the person who has a Squarespace 7.0 website. They built it maybe two, three plus years ago, and they're thinking, hey, I'm going to be on the platform for a bit longer, next two to three years, if not a lot longer. Should I stay on 7.0 or should I move to 7.1? Let's begin. So right now I'm going to cover four, maybe three or four main questions to think about in this process. Just so you have a little bit of background about myself. If we have not met before, my name is David and I have helped build over 150 websites. I've been featured on the Squarespace Circle blog. I've been featured on their YouTube channel. So I have a lot of experience in the Squarespace world. Now let's talk a little bit about what this can look like for you moving from 7.0 to 7.1. The first thing to consider is this. So if you plan to be on Squarespace for another 18 months at minimum, hey, let's say your business skyrockets, things change, and then you wanna revamp the whole thing later in, in six months, awesome, that's great. You hit your new year's resolutions. But if you anticipate being on Squarespace for another 18 months at least, I highly recommend moving to 7.1. I will walk through a few hesitations or things to consider at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But for right now, really focus in on this. If you are gonna be on Squarespace for at least another year and a half, go to 7.1. Now, number two, if you plan to start a blog or you really wanna grow your organic traffic, now is the best time before you start that blog or if you just started it to really consider moving to 7.1. Number one, it's gonna help with SEO in a few key ways. Squarespace does a really good job in 7.1 with lazy load images, with other features and benefits that just come with 7.1 with the site speed and all of that. They're just a bit better. They're not the best, but they're just a bit better than 7.0. And the dreadful topic of one of the things that people really struggle with moving from 7.0 to 7.1, and maybe why you're watching this video right now, is because when you move over, you don't move comments. So if you move from 7.0 to 7.1, comments don't move with it. It's super unfortunate, but comments do not move with the content. So if you're gonna start a blog and you wanna start building engagement on your site, you definitely wanna move to 7.1 because it'll be worth it in the long run. So we covered two things so far. If you plan to be on Squarespace for more than a year or two, definitely move to 7.1. If you plan to start a blog or just grow your organic traffic, definitely move to 7.1. Third one, if you plan to invest in the design of your website. So if you plan to invest in the design of your website, you're gonna put more money into really building out a beautiful website or just vamping it up. Why stick with 7.0 when you have a lot more design features and tips and tricks and tools that you can use in 7.1 that Squarespace 7.0 just doesn't offer. The old version just doesn't offer it. So with that said, what you can consider is if you are going in through that process, really think about moving to 7.1 because it'll make your life easier in the long run. There are things in 7.1 that are just so much more beautiful and easy to navigate and a little bit more user friendly for you on the back end as well. So consider that if you are just gonna be vamping up your site that you move over to the new platform. Now, some of the biggest hesitations I hear about come in the form of something like, hey, I, I have a ton of content on my website and I don't wanna move it all over. Or I have comments on my blogs, I don't wanna lose that. Or I have a lot of order information on my site, I don't wanna lose that as well. Squarespace has done a poor job, unfortunately, with managing that, those things that are important. It's almost like the loyalty doesn't really matter. They've built this new ecosystem for you, but you can't really move over to it. They don't give you a clear way to do that. So it's a bit unfortunate, but those are the things that in the long run, if your business is growing and, and if you think about the future of your business and where you want your business to be or your freelancing or your portfolio, any of those things, if it's gonna help you grow 10X, it'll be worth it. Think about the future gain versus the past loss. Humans are very much loss aversion creatures. So with that said, really consider what you're gonna gain if you move to 7.1. The interface is better. You're gonna have more design options. Plus you're gonna be moving with the flow and the current of where Squarespace is going. 
And so you're gonna get more options, more features, more support, all of that on the new platform. Truly, there's nothing on the new platform that can't be replaced with maybe a plugin or something. The one thing that people do hesitate with is if they want developer mode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's totally fine. But there's this feature on Squarespace 7.0, the older version of developer mode. Honestly, if you're working in developer mode, my number one recommendation, get off the platform, go to Webflow. There's no reason for you to go into developer mode on Squarespace when you have a beautiful CMS like Webflow that's built all, it is developer mode like in action normally, like without complicated code or complicated roadblocks to even get there. Now, finally, tips for moving through the process. Now, let's say you said yes. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move to 7.1. Number one, check out the links below because we have resources for you. We have a checklist that will help you go through the process to consider SEO and all those other things. But if you're moving to 7.1, really push into this, okay? So you can copy and paste all your content from your old site to your new site with a few plugins or or different tools. One of them being Square Websites. That, I forget the URL, it'll be somewhere down below, but basically you could go there, they have a plugin, you could buy it for a month or whatever, it's a monthly subscription, and basically copy your content and paste it on a new one. But truly, I don't think you need to do that if you have, let's say, less than 10 pages or even less than 15 pages. If you have a blog with 100 posts, it'll be useful. All right, so my recommendation is actually to move the pages manually. If you have less than 15 pages on your site, I would say do it manually. Why? Because number one, you're gonna be able to learn the interface. And if you learn the interface, that's gonna really help you understand what you can do, which leads to number two. Number two is, if you know the interface and you learn what it can do, you could actually make your site better because there are simple features, tips and tricks. Uh, I keep saying tips, like there's tips involved, but there's tricks and little things you could do that are gonna be better in 7.1 than your previous site. So overall, my recommendation is focus on recreating your site on the new platform. Then from there for SEO, you just wanna make sure that all your URL slugs are the same. Unless you are completely changing the content or the page or getting rid of the page, you wanna make sure all your URL slugs are the same. Go to Google, type in Squarespace 301 redirects, learn how to do a redirect. You just wanna make sure if you have 20 URLs on your old site, that they all point to a new URL on your new site. So if you go from 20 pages to 10, you want all of those pages to point to those 10 websites, those 10 pages on your site when you launch. And that's it. This is gonna be an investment in your business. You probably invest in your website already. Even if it was a year ago or two years ago, you're, you're maybe a little bit upset that you just started on 7.0 and you're really considering 7.1, but making the move is worth it. So check out the resources below. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. With that, if you got value from today's video, hit that like button. It lets me know that you got value from this content. Finally, if you're looking for more help with Squarespace or becoming a Squarespace freelance designer, highly recommend subscribing. We publish new content three, maybe even four times a week right now. So consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.